Okay, so I wanna show you a few cool things that you can do within VideoScribe. So I'm gonna click on the properties within the file cabinet element and let's click on move in here. So you can see what's gonna happen is a hand, instead of drawing this element out, a hand's gonna come and move this element onto the screen. So you can actually pick the direction that you want the hand to move in from. So let's pick this direction by clicking on the red arrow, it became blue, and push the check mark. Okay, let's preview that. See, there we go. And then it, the rest of the scribe would continue the way that it did before. I'm just gonna stop it. So I use that sometimes at the end of videos when I'm putting a client logo in. It just shakes things up a little bit. It's a little different than just having the hand draw the whole time. I don't use it too often, but it is an option. Let's go back into the file cabinet properties. I'm going to choose morph. So with morph, you have to choose another element for your, uh, your first element to morph into. So I'm gonna highlight the element suggestion here, click the check mark, and we will preview that. So that first element morphs into the second element. So that is another option for you. I'm gonna go back to draw, click on draw, click the check mark, okay. Another thing that is super cool that I wish when I started with VideoScribe I knew about and I didn't know about this for a long time is, let's click the add image to canvas. Let's type in scribble out. And you'll see that you have some options for some scribbles here. You've got this. So let's just bring the animation time down. Let's go into the properties of that element and replace the image. We're gonna type in scribble out again and click enter. And see how there's these two just white elements? Let's click on the first one here and press the check mark. Okay, so let's hit fit to screen for a second because this is quite large and I wanna bring the size down. So this element, when you type in to the image library, scribble out, is going to actually allow you to scribble out an image. This comes in really handy. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and I'm gonna place it over the first element and I'm gonna show you what that will look like. So let's lock that camera setting there and we will preview the entire scribe See how it erased the first element because I placed it over that element? That's awesome. So the scribble out element definitely comes in handy. Let's say you want to bring an image into VideoScribe. You can bring in either a JPEG or a PNG file or an SVG file, but let's say you wanna bring in a cartoon and you're not a great drawer so you want to find a royalty free to use cartoon you can go to a website called pixabay here so i'm going to click in the search bar and type in cartoon and we have all sorts of options let's choose this hippo so I'm going to click on the free download. I'm going to download it in 1270 by 1280. It will show up as a PNG. That's going to be in my download folder. So let's go to the add image to canvas and we will bring that image in by going to this file folder down here import SVG, GIF, bitmap image, or zip file. So let's click on that. It's in my downloads folder right now. I'm going to open that up. It will import that element into VideoScribe. And let's preview how that will draw out. 
Okay. Let's see what sketch looks like. Okay, so I prefer going with reveal because that matches the look of the other scribes. I'm going to click the check mark here. So if you're not illustrating your own images, Pixabay is a good option to find images to use within your scribe. So we will be creating our very own image coming up.